Hey folks, I feel welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching. In this episode, I'm going to continue to work at the, the GS6600F 9396. So, um, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna fire up the bike again, keep running a little bit, and then I'm going to change the oil. <coughs> uh, the exhaust is still not fixed at this side, so when the engine gonna be warm, I'm gonna take off this side of the exhaust to have access to the uh, oil filter and then let the engine dry out and cool down when it's gonna happen then i'm gonna take off the oil cooler because it has been damaged in the accident broke off one of the holder and uh, here is a dent and here as well a lot of uh, places are <coughs> damaged so i'm just gonna uh, replace it with a different one and that's why i'm gonna have much more access and gonna be easier if this side of the exhaust is off and then um, meanwhile i'm gonna start to finish up the, the rear end, hook up the cables, put back uh, the seat, put back the, the rear uh, brake, so then probably the rear end gonna be completely done. A lot of things to do, let's start. <laughs> she spit some fire, that's for sure, so probably the carb's gonna need an adjustment, but first I just uh, gonna run with her to free up the, the uh, rings and things like that and then I'm gonna adjust the carburetor and as you can see now the oil is running out so I'm gonna wait a few minutes to take off the front still wait, waiting me while I hooked up the lights as you can see the turn signs are working now uh, the regular light as well and the wheel brake light as well so now I'm just gonna put back the the passenger seat and this is gonna be done finally now the rear seat is on it's a little bit dirty it's gonna need a little bit of the clean cleaning I'm gonna need to take care of it and I hope it's gonna look good with this color so this is gonna be the, the driver's seat I got this uh, seat with uh, the fairings so they are kind of match up Hopefully it's gonna work out with this uh, color team. We'll see. But uh, so that is this too far to see it all together. So no time to waste. Let's go further. So work in progress. The old um, cooler is off. The new is on already. The old filter is off. The new is on already. So now I can put back um, the exhaust, fill up the new oil, and then <coughs> uh, circulate a little bit to be sure the system is filling up and there is no any leakage nice fresh oil is in the bike uh, in the engine now i put back the exhaust and fire her up a little bit to uh, fill up the system and for the check for the leakage now the exhaust is complete everything is ready to go so first i'm just gonna spin her to be sure we're gonna have oil pressure so let's start <laughs> Yes, we got oil pressure, which is a good news. So now <laughs> I'm gonna let it run if she wants to run, and then gonna check for leakages. Now 
I'm gonna let her run to that position. Make sure the position is cleared out idly. And then uh, dry up the spots everywhere to be sure there is no any leakage later on. So, if I see it running, I'm gonna tight up the clamps. Yeah, I'm missing the cup here. This here runs quite nicely, to be honest, nice food. It's not that bad, she was standing over here. So, I'm just gonna put up everything now. The bike home for a while didn't get to good results. I have to check again the, uh, the torque specs because then maybe I was looking for the wrong holes because it's a 12 uh, Newton meter, but maybe it's for this one. But yeah, <coughs> beside that, I'm really happy. She's still running good, sounds good. And then um, uh, have a good uh, thoughts about it. So that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, see you in the next one. Bye bye.